हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स फिर से हम आपका स्वागत करते हैं आपकी फिजिक्स की क्लास में और आज हम पढ़ने वाले हैं कोलिजन का एक स्पेशल केस और वो केस है हेड ऑन कोलिजन आज हम हेड ऑन कोलिजन से रिलेटेड सारे कॉन्सेप्ट देखने वाले हैं पहले हम बात करते हैं कि हेडोन हेड ऑन कोलिजन क्या चीज़ होती है हमको पता है एक लाइन ऑफ इम्पैक्ट होता है जैसे यहाँ पर हमारे पास में एक बॉडी है एम वन बॉडी नंबर वन एम वन जिसका मास एम वन है और बॉडी नंबर टू जिसका मास एम टू है और अगर इन दोनों के सेंटर ऑफ मास को हम एक लाइन से कनेक्ट करते हैं इन दोनों के सेंटर ऑफ मास को हम एक लाइन से कनेक्ट करते हैं तो उस लाइन को हम कहेंगे लाइन ऑफ इम्पैक्ट तो यहाँ पर ये जो लाइन है ये हमारा लाइन ऑफ इम्पैक्ट है क्या है लाइन ऑफ इम्पैक्ट ये लाइन ऑफ इम्पैक्ट है ओके सेंटर ऑफ मास को कनेक्ट कर जरूरी नहीं कि सारे पार्टिकल जो बॉडीज़ है वो इसी डायरेक्शन में मूव करें पर हेड ऑन कोलिजन वही केस है वही स्पेशल केस है जिसमें ये दोनों बॉडी इस लाइन ऑफ इम्पैक्ट की डायरेक्शन में मूव करती है इनिशियली एंड आफ्टर द कोलिजन तो यहाँ पर ये जो लाइन ऑफ इम्पैक्ट है इसी डायरेक्शन में ये फर्स्ट पार्टिकल फर्स्ट बॉडी यू वन स्पीड से या यू वन वेलासिटी से मूव कर रहा है और ये जो सेकेंड है वो यू टू वेलासिटी से मूव कर रहा है ये बिफोर द कोलिजन केस है और आफ्टर द कोलिजन वापस से हम यही कंसिडर कर सकते हैं कि आफ्टर द कोलिजन दिस बॉडी एम वन इज मूविंग एंड दिस एम टू ऑल्सो मूविंग विथ अलॉन्ग द सेम लाइन ऑफ इम्पैक्ट सो आफ्टर द कोलिजन द वेलासिटी ऑफ दिस फर्स्ट इज v1 and and the velocity of the second is v2, okay? And these are moving along the same line of impact. That's why it is called head-on collision. It is called head-on collision. So this case is for the ये किसके लिए है This is for the uh, before collision. This is before collision, okay? These velocities are in case of before collision u1 and u2, and these are in case of after collision. After collision, okay. तो ये हमको समझ में आया, okay. Now, if we are talking about the coefficient of restitution, that is e equal to coefficient of restitution, that is e equal to v2 minus v1 divided by u1 minus u2. This formula you have to memorize it, okay. This formula is very very important. Uh, not only for the this, for this topic, always this formula is very important. So the, this coefficient of restitution e is equal to v2 minus v1 divided by u1 minus u2. That point you have to remember that is u1 minus u2. एक important point आपको याद रखना है u1 minus u2. Okay. So that is the uh, that is the formula for the coefficient of restitution. And in case of any kind of collision, it may be head-on collision, it may be Uh, oblique collision it may be any kind of collision the very important point that you have to remember is that conservation of linear momentum okay so uh, now we are using the conservation of linear momentum the second this is our equation number 1 now the second equation we are using the conservation conservation of linear momentum conservation of linear momentum conservation of linear momentum okay and uh, if you are applying this concept that is conservation of linear momentum so you can write the initial momentum of this first body that is m1 u1 okay and the initial momentum of second body that is m2 u2 that is the initial momentum of system is equal to final momentum that is m1 v1 plus m2 v2 okay this is the equation number 2 so the first equation when we are deriving the uh, the final velocity what is our task okay in this derivation our task is to find v1 and v2 the final velocity after the collision of two bodies dono body ka collision ke baad velocity kya hoga that we have to find here okay so this v1 and v2 that is our task to find it out so from these two equation that is equation number 1 from the coefficient of restitution and the equation number 2 from the conservation of linear momentum we will solve these two equation and will find value of v1 and v2 okay so uh, what we can do yahan par hum kya kar sakte hain hum yahan par uh, is equation se v2 ka value find kar sakte hain so how we will find the value of v2 what we can do this uh, u1 minus u2 will multiply with this e 
तो यहाँ पर ये मल्टीप्लाई होगा वी यू वन माइनस यू टू एंड इट विल बिकम इक्वल टू वी टू माइनस वी वन ओके तो अगर हम यहाँ पर वी टू का वैल्यू कैलकुलेट करें इफ़ यू आर जस्ट फाइंडिंग द वैल्यू ऑफ वी टू हीयर यू विल गेट वी वन प्लस ई इन टू यू वन माइनस यू टू ओके यू वन माइनस यू टू ना जस्ट प्लेस वैल्यू ऑफ दिस वी टू इन दिस इक्वेशन एंड यू विल गेट द वैल्यू ऑफ वी वन ओके तो यहाँ पर हम लिखेंगे एम वन यू वन प्लस एम टू यू टू इज इक्वल टू एम वन वी वन प्लस एम टू एंड वट इज वैल्यू ऑफ वी टू दैट इज वी वन प्लस ई इन टू यू वन माइनस यू टू ओके आई थिंक इट इज़ वेरी मच क्लियर टू ऑल ऑफ यू नाउ इफ़ यू आर मल्टीप्लाइंग दिस this uh, m2 inside the bracket and we'll find the value of v1 what we will get that is m1 u1 plus m2 u2 as it is is equal to m1 v1 plus this m2 into v1 plus m2 into e into u1 minus m2 into e into u2 okay तो यहाँ से इस इक्वेशन से हमको v1 का वैल्यू फाइंड करना है तो हम यहाँ पर लिखेंगे दिस m1 m1 u1 m1 u1 और यहाँ से ये m2 टू इंटू ई इंटू यू हम लेफ्ट हैंड साइड लेकर आएंगे क्या माइनस m2 टू ई इंटू यू तो u1 u1 का वैल्यू यहाँ पर हम कॉफिशेंट uh, हमने देखा प्लस दिस m2 इंटू यू टू और ये वाला टर्म इधर प्लस हो जाएगा तो हमको मिलेगा ई इंटू एम टू इंटू यू टू और इधर मिलेगा हमको एम वन प्लस एम टू इंटू वी वन ओके तो यहाँ से हमारा वी वन का वैल्यू आया वी वन का वैल्यू क्या आ जाएगा जरा हम यहाँ पर लिख लेते हैं वी वन का वैल्यू दैट इज़ एम वन माइनस ई इंटू एम टू इंटू यू वन प्लस वन प्लस ई यहाँ से हम एम टू यू टू कॉमन ले लेंगे सो एम टू यू टू डिवाइडेड बाई एम वन प्लस एम टू डिवाइडेड बाई एम वन प्लस एम टू सो दिस इज वैल्यू ऑफ यू वन ये क्या मिला आपको यू वन मिला ओके okay, ये हमको यहाँ से वी वन मिला ओके यू वन नहीं वी वन मिला ओके okay, और ये फार्मूला बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है जो आपको रट लेना है ओके okay, ये फार्मूला बहुत ज़्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट है क्योंकि इस फार्मूले से ही आगे हम सारे कैलकुलेशन कर सकते हैं अगर आप कोलिजन के किसी भी टाइप के क्वेश्चन को सॉल्व करना है तो अगर ये एक सिंगल फार्मूला आपने याद रख लिया तो आगे के सारे फार्मूले ऑटोमेटिकली हम इससे फाइंड कर सकते हैं कैसे फाइंड करेंगे ज़रा देखते हैं नेक्स्ट स्लाइड पर है ना तो अगर हम यहीं से अगर हम यहीं से वी का वैल्यू फाइंड करना चाहें तो कैसे करेंगे तो मेरे प्यारे बच्चों अभी हमने क्या देखा हमने यहाँ पर देखा कि v1 that is the final velocity after the collision of first body okay yahan par hum likh lete hain that is the final final velocity final velocity of first body first body pehli body ka final velocity kya hai pehli body ka final velocity kya hai to wo humne find kiya v1 is equal to m1 minus e into m2 into u1 okay into u1 plus plus 1 plus e into m2 u2 and uh, divided by what divided by m1 plus m2 divided by m1 plus m2 okay अभी हमने आपको कहा कि यहाँ पर ये फार्मूला सबसे ज़्यादा इम्पोर्टेंट है इफ़ एनी न्यूमेरिकल यू वांट टू सॉल्व रिलेटेड टू द कोलिजन दिस फार्मूला विल हेल्प यू डेफिनेटली सो दिस फार्मूला यू हैव टू रिमेंबर नाउ व्हाई बिकॉज विद दिस फार्मूला यू कैन फाइंड दिस वी टू ऑल्सो नो नीड टू सॉल्व इट अगेन ओके वट यू कैन डू यू कैन जस्ट इंटरचेंज एम वन बाई एम टू एम टू बाई एम वन यू वन बाई यू टू एंड यू टू बाई यू वन देन डेफिनेटली इट विल बी वैल्यू ऑफ वी टू सो दिस एम वन विल रिप्लेस बाई एम टू माइनस ई एम वन रिप्लेस बाई एम एम टू रिप्लेस बाई एम वन इन टू यू टू विल बी देर प्लस वन प्लस ई एज इट इज एंड दिस विल बिकम 
m1 u1 divided by and denominator is m1 plus m2 as it is so uh, very easily we can find m2 also no need to solve it again so this formula is very very important and if you are having this formula then you can solve this special cases also now we will talk about some special cases this very important formula that you have to remember regarding this head on collision okay that is that is the velocity final velocities of body so this v2 is what this v2 is the final velocity of second body the final velocity final velocity of second second body the final velocity of second body this is v2 okay that already we have find now we are taking some special cases okay तो यहाँ पर क्या स्पेशल केस होंगे जरा हम देखते हैं ओके सम स्पेशल केसेस सम स्पेशल केसेस ओके नाउ व्हाट आर दिस स्पेशल केसेस इन दिस स्पेशल केस फर्स्ट केस वी आर टेकिंग व्हेन ई इक्वल टू वन द फर्स्ट केस व्हेन ई इक्वल टू वन नाउ व्हाट इज मीनिंग ऑफ दिस ई इक्वल टू वन ओके you have to pause this video and just find it out what is value if you are taking this e equal to 1 then what is meaning of this e equal to 1 okay this e equal to 1 means it is elastic collision so this is a special case ho gaya head on elastic collision ka hai na head on head on elastic collision head on elastic collision this is a special case of head on elastic collision okay so agar head on elastic collision se related question aata hai so you can use directly formula but it is very typical to remember all this formula so only remember this single formula that is v1 is equal to this m1 minus e into m2 into u1 plus 1 plus e into m2 u2 divided by m1 plus m2 only this formula is sufficient now you have to just put the value of e equal to 1 in this equation and you will find the value of v1 and v2 okay what we can do you can find v1 and v2 the final velocities okay so this uh, v1 in head on elastic collision it will become m1 minus m2 into u1 and this e plus 1 that is equal to 2 and m2 u2 divided by m1 plus m2 so no need to solve this equations again and again only you have to put value if you are having this formula same as it is if you are finding v2 then it will become m2 minus m1 into u2 plus 2 m1 u1 divided by m1 plus m2 this two formula the single formula is sufficient with the help of v1 you can find v2 and just put the value of different cases you will get different conditions okay so this v1 and v2 very easily you can find in case of head-on elastic collision now in this head-on elastic collision we are taking again one special case what is the one special case the special case in which we are taking both identical body the bodies are identical means m1 is equal to m2 so now again we are moving to the next slide in which we are taking m1 is equal to m2 in this equation so now we are discussing about the special case again the case is that the head-on elastic collision of two identical bodies listen carefully uh, the head-on elastic collision head on head on elastic collision elastic collision of a two identical body of two identical identical bodies do ek jisi body jiska mass equal hai unka head on इलास्टिक कोलिजन अगर है तो क्या होगा यहाँ पर बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट हम आपको बताने जा रहे हैं तो अभी हमने डिराइव किया अभी हमने डिराइव किया दैट इज वी वन इज इक्वल टू एम वन माइनस एम टू वी वन इज इक्वल टू एम वन माइनस एम टू इंटू यू वन प्लस टू इंटू एम टू यू टू डिवाइडेड बाय डिवाइडेड बाय एम वन प्लस एम टू ओके 
and in identical body if we are talking about the identical bodies then m1 is equal to m2 is equal to m we are considering okay so just put value of this so we will get v1 is equal to this m minus m will cancel out okay so this term will become equal to 0 now 2 m into u2 divided by 2 m so this term will be 0 and this 2 m 2 m will cancel out and finally you are getting v2 now very interesting concept coming in front of us listen my dear students very interesting concept what is the interesting concept what is the topic topic is head on elastic collision of identical bodies so in case of head on elastic collision of identical bodies velocity will become interchange velocity will interchange so v1 will become u2 and same as it is if you are finding v2 what is the value of v2 that is m2 minus m1 into u2 plus 2 m1 u1 divided by m1 plus m2 now you have to just put value m is equal to m1 is equal to m and m2 also is equal to m so you will get this v2 and this term will again become equal to 0 and 2 m2 sorry m into v1 divided by 2m so 2m 2m will cancel out and you are, you are getting v1 so again this velocity will enter change this v2 is equal to u1 very very important concept very important concept and how you can use this concept okay how we can use this concept uh, we are taking one uh, one case in which one this is the example this one example we are taking here this is our ceiling and uh, from this ceiling we are hanging one ball of mass m now what is happening this uh, one ball is moving with velocity v not having same mass m and these two bodies are colliding elastically okay these two bodies are colliding elastically we have to find after the collision this ball will move up to height h and what is this height h what is this height h you have to find and the collision of these two body is elastic collision okay so what will happen after the collision this uh, velocity will interchange so let us con consider the after collision after collision collision ke baad after this collision this velocity of first ball this is ball number one and this is ball number two velocity of first ball that is v1 will become equal to u2 and u2 in this case equal to zero because this hanging ball is stationary so v1 will stop ruk jayega and this v2 will become v0 v2 ka value kitna ho jayega v0 ho jayega according to the conservation of kinetic energy uh, conservation of mechanical energy this h will become v naught square divided by 2g so that is value of h so very easily no need to use any kind of condition only the physical analysis is sufficient if you are taking collision of two identical body head-on elastic collision of two identical body then this then definitely uh, this velocity will interchange velocity will exchange this v1 become u2 and v2 become u1 very important concept okay again we are taking one uh, very interesting example in which uh, one smooth table is there this smooth table is visible i think all of you this smooth table is here and on this smooth table there are multiple balls are we are placing this multiple balls are we are here, placing here let us consider n ball is there this ball number one this ball number two ball number three and a smooth surface is this this surface is is smooth okay now if we are just throwing one ball with velocity v naught on this identical balls then what is the velo velocity of this last ball definitely this last ball also will have velocity v naught because this velocity will interchange will exchange so this first ball is initially in rest so after the collision it will move with velocity v naught and this this initial this this throwing ball will be in the rest okay what look jayegi then after same case will be with second third four and nth case for nth ball again this 
n minus 1 the ball will stop and this n the ball will move with velocity v naught so this type of uh, very interesting numerical may possible will come in your exam and this concept definitely will help you okay what is the concept that is the collision head on collision of two identical bodies elastic collision of two identical bodies okay now the next condition the next condition next special case we are taking that is the inelastic collision okay inelastic collision when value of e is something which is less than 1 inelastic collision in which value of e that is the coefficient of restitution is less than 1 so definitely this two formula v1 and v2 we can use which formula we can use again we are moving to the next slide so if you are talking about the uh, elastic inelastic collision okay inelastic collision so in elastic collision elastic collision in elastic collision and what is this in elastic collision ye in elastic collision kya cheez hai in elastic collision ye kya cheez hai ye hai jab v1 is equal to in elastic collision and which one the head on collision head on collision to yahan pe koi special case hum aap se concern nahi bata rahe hum wahi case bata rahe hain jo abhi hum discuss kar chuke hain so v1 is equal to m1 minus e and what is this in elastic collision when e is less than 1 there is some value of e so m1 minus e into m2 into u1 plus m2 minus sorry 1 plus e 1 plus e into m2 u2 divided by m1 plus m2 okay ye formula to aap yaad kar hi chuke hain and this v2 same as it is you can write this v2 that is m1 nahi m2 what you have to do you have to interchange this m1 m2 minus m1 e times m1 into u2 plus 1 plus e into m1 u1 divided by m1 plus m2 okay I think it is very much clear to all of you now one special case we are taking my dear student listen carefully one special case we are taking it is the special case a special case we are taking and this special case we are taking identical bodies okay identical bodies identical bodies okay and this identical bodies this is m1 is equal to m2 is equal to m we are considering so what is the velocity this v1 is equal to 1 minus e into u1 plus 1 plus e into u2 divided by okay what you have to do you have to just place this m1 is equal to m and m2 also equal to m so and this v2 will be v2 will be 1 plus e into u1 plus 1 minus e into u2 divided by 2 this also very important cases you have to remember okay so uh, in this lecture what we have covered we have covered head-on collision and in head-on collision these two formulas are very important and after putting the special case special values of e you can very easily find the different cases thank you very much